What's going on guys, Don Ross with Patriot Business Systems. Today we're gonna to chat on adding a phone number inside of High Level using the Lead Connector phone system. So we're gonna go step by step where you're gonna go inside of your account or even if you have an account with us, where you can go to add a new phone number. This is typically gonna be either like an 800-833 number or a local phone number. Um, where you can add those price points, uh, some things to think about as you're adding them, uh, some differences between just a regular phone number, phone pool, uh, we'll go through that here step by step. So without further ado, I'm going to pull up the context tab just to kind of show some things. So the phone drop down, you see you have a primary phone number there. So this is after you've gone through gotten a campaign uh, approved through A2P and that approval process. Um, if you're looking for some videos on that, we have some stuff that we've released on that already, as well as some new videos that we'll be releasing, uh, walking you through the process, what that looks like, some timelines currently as they are. Um, but once you have those phone numbers approved, you would typically have a default phone number that you can adjust inside the settings area. And that's going to be your main uh, phone number that's used if you do not have a phone number assigned to this user that's uh, currently inside of high level. So if you're dialing out using the power dialer, things of that nature, or you're in a contact card, that default system number potentially is going to be the primary number that's being used unless this user has a phone number assigned to them. So that is some thoughts right there. Um, settings down in the bottom left here when you go into settings and come down to phone numbers. This is what it'll look like. You get the drop down to add a phone number. Once you're into that add phone number, you can um, choose the United States. You can choose different uh, locations uh, out of the United States if you'd like to. Uh, additionally, with the filters, you can search um, by area codes. So any part or first part, if you want to do area codes and then apply, it will re search at that point in time and then you see that you have phone numbers that you can purchase um, if you're purchasing them direct through your uh, agency account the monthly price dollar fifteen uh, if you are a sub account user through another agency there might be additional cost uh, to that um, and then you're going to pay per minute and text message and so you can either ask your agency owner or you can uh, take a look at the lead connector um, tutorial videos uh, that high level has put out and you can see some price points of per segment and if you include emojis and things of that nature what that might look like uh, when you're texting or calling out so i will uh, purchase a phone number here in a second uh, but you can see here on the back end of our setup, uh, we've got a couple different phone numbers, and then you see we have one that is set up as a default. Um, when you're setting these up, you can adjust how many seconds it should call in before it sends to voicemail. Um, and same thing with outbound, how long should it dial out outbound? So um, you can see here, here are some of the different uh, phone numbers, things of that nature, and how we have this stuff set up. Uh, some recommendations. Behind it, when you're setting stuff up, you probably want to have one default. You might want to have one for your website, uh, one for Google My Business, and then potentially, if you're doing online marketing, you may want to think about a pool. So if you're doing uh, Google pay-per-click, Facebook ads, or any other type of online advertising, you might want to have a pool of phone numbers where you can assign then those uh, numbers to those different uh, marketing that you have going out. So direct mail, things of that nature. Um, when they inbound uh, call, you can forward them to an office phone, a cell phone, uh, things of that nature. So if I go into the configuration here, you can see that there's some different uh, options that you have available. So with that said, forwarding to a business phone, cell phone, that's your obvious first option. What is the name of it? Um, do you want to pass the caller ID phone number or the actual tracking number? So that's what you're doing here with this clickable checkbox. Uh, call connect feature, if you ever have questions right here. And uh, that'll let you know what's going on there. Whisper message, do you want it to tell you exactly which phone number or name um, is calling in? So that's normally what we do there. 
Uh, do you want recording turned on so that you can uh, actually listen to the recording of the call after you've completed it? Um, I choose to do this, but you do need to know your state's rules on one party, two party um, recording of calls. So take that into account. And then we talked about incoming, outgoing, how much until it times out and goes to a voicemail or completes the call. And then should it ring specific users when this call comes in? Okay, so that's what those settings look like. Obviously, after you order a phone number, you can always come into your settings, phone numbers, and then do the triple dots to edit and adjust um, those configurations. So if we go back, let's see here. Phone number, I'm gonna do it uh, here in this side of things. Like I said, you have two different um, abilities, just a single phone number or a pool, um, depending on what you're doing. I already kind of explained what those two setups are. Typically, you would wanna filter down to First part, phone number. Go ahead and find yourself a phone number that you like. Proceed. And then you can see now you've got this new phone number. Um, and then once you go back in, you can configure um, the settings of that phone number. So it is right here. We already saw the triple dots. You can go in, edit the configuration, change the name, adjust who should be um, rang when that happens, or if you want to assign it to one specific user. Um, normally you'll have a default phone number for the company itself, and then each user at a bare minimum would have their own phone number. That'd be my recommendation. Uh, if you have any questions around this as you're doing it, you can uh, text us, 262-300-2882. Shoot us a text, ask your questions. We'll respond back with a uh, video response. Send it to you, let you know that we've uh, created a video around that, and then obviously we'll create some content and post that content around your questions. Um, if you want to chat with us, figure out if it makes sense for us to work together, uh, you can reach over at patriotbusinesssystemswithans.com. Um, the chat feature on the bottom right, you have the ability to reach out and chat to us that way. You can uh, do a 15-minute discovery call. We can chat and figure out uh, if it makes sense to have us uh, set up or build uh, your high level. We already have pre-built um, high levels that we provide through Patriot Business Systems. Uh, and we do some customizations for people as well. We just need to talk about what that would look like, uh, what your expectations are, and if we can obviously uh, come to an agreement on what that might uh, be. So uh, schedule a call reach out to us there. If you already have your own high-level account, obviously this is going to walk you step-by-step step through it. If you do not have your own high-level account, you're looking for your uh, setup of it, one. 14-day um, free trial. The link is in the description of this video. Uh, try it out 14 days, and then uh, if you do have questions, reach out to us. Um, if you are a uh, real estate investor and potentially looking at either a high-level setup or a Podio setup, we have both that we provide. You can check out reiautomationsquad.com. That's going to have the chat feature on that website as well as the 15-minute call over there. Um, if you need anything, let us know. Again, phone number 262-300-2882. Try out your high-level 14-day. Uh, and if you need anything, let us know. Take care.